Hello guys. Uh, in this video, we will see how to draw a involute for a regular hexagon of size 20 mm in the AutoCAD software. So first we will see the question, draw the involute of a regular hexagon of size 20 mm and mark a tangent and normal to the curve at a distance 100 mm from the center of the hexagon. Okay. Open the software, click new. So set the basic things, first set the units, millimeters, limits, li. LMITS limits 0, 0, 420, 297 and then zoom. This zoom command is very very important to reduce the scale size. Okay. So once you set the basic thing, uh, they have asked to draw an involute for a hexagon. Okay. Type polygon. It is asking enter the number of sides. I am going to enter as six sides for x second it is six so now you select the uh, we can draw the x second in two methods one is uh, circum or inscribed circle method another one is the edge method that means by defining the side of the edge okay so i am going to select this edge it's asking to specify the first point so i am going to place the first point here and then I am going to move in the horizontal direction, while moving in the horizontal direction press F8 so that you can get a straight uh, edge and now specify the uh, length as 20 mm ok press space so I have got the X again then I am going to give name for each corner text click here 2.5 0 so it is blinking A B C D E E ok six one more uh, F ok so I am going to place the press switch of the F ortho mode while uh, moving the letters C D Control C Control V or Power. So yes. <coughs> so next thing. So next thing what you have to do, we have, we have to extend the each side for infinite length. So I am using the uh, command called ray, specify the first point, first point you have to extend the base, ok. Select A, B, uh, next what you have to do, next F, A, go in the clockwise direction, next E, F, next D E next C D E next B and C. so I have extended all the edges now what we have to do now we have to put the circle circle my center is going to be A and then radius is going to be A B so I am going to click on the B point so now I am going to trim the outside section while trimming be careful ok now again circle now this time center is F okay. radius is either you can click here or you can type 40 Again trim next again circle. Now this time E is going to be my center. And I have to drag up to this point or else I can give 60. 
so now again trim delete the unwanted portion now again circle now d is going to be my center drag up to this point or you can give 80 okay Now again circle. Now this time C is going to be my center and I'm going to drag up to this point or else you can give 100. Okay. So while moving uh, in succession sessions, sections, you have to add the each side. Okay. Again trim. Now final section, again circle, select the circle, then move up to this point. So I am again drawing doing this one, circle, put the center at the B and then give 120. Now, trim. After uh, typing the trim command, you have to press the space for double times and then you have to select the edges that you want to remove. So now I got the involute for a hexagon. Okay. Now what is the next question? They are asking uh, mark a tangent and normal to the curve at a distance 100 mm from the center of the hexagon. So I am going to again put a circle with a radius of 100 mm from the center of the hexagon. Okay. If you are not getting the center just move the cursor to the side and then come back. So moving the cursor, don't press any key on the mouse. If you move to the side and then you come back and then you will get the center. Click the center and you have to put a circle for a radius of 100 mm. So now the circle is intersecting with the curve at this point. So at this point I am going to put a point PO. So at this intersection I am going to place a point. Click here but it is not visible. Uh, okay, go to point style. You change the style to X and set in absolute units, change the point size to 4, ok. So now I got the point. Now I am going to delete the circle. So at this point I have to mark a normal and tangent. So again line. So connect this point to the center of the corresponding section, ok. So C is the center for this section. So I will give a name to each section of okay. control. So this is going to be P1. P2. Once you give the, once you give the name, uh, you click outside. Okay. Otherwise, it will go. So instead of control V, I have pressed the control is it. So take. V3. So now the point, this 100 mm point falls between P4 and P5. Uh, the, for the section between P4 and P5, C is the center. So we have to join the point to C. So this is the normal. So we have to extend it on the other side. 
for that I am going to rotate this line 180 degree RO select this object press space then specify this point as a base point click copy and then give 180 degree so if you give 180 degree without pressing copy what will happen the source will erase okay so this side it will extend whereas our other side it disappears okay so you have to give copy and then you have to give the angle now this is the normal now we have to draw a tangent by making a line perpendicular to this normal here any line so no sorry i am going to rotate this line so type ro select this object press space specify the base point copy and then uh, specify 90 degree so you got the so always the software marks the angle in anti-clockwise direction okay so that's why the line is formed on the left side so now again going to rotate this line 180 degree select this line press space select the uh, base point copy and then 180 degree so extend it on both sides now i'm going to give name this is going to be t uh, t dash it's going to be my t click outside and press escape to cancel the command control v so this i'm going to put n okay So once you got the tan, now what we will do, now we will increase the line thickness for this curve, tangent and the normal to differentiate from the construction lines. Okay. So go to layer uh, 40, but it is not uh, reflected in the screen. So you have to select this one this line weight command so you have to switch it on now you can able to see the difference okay so i'm going to change the color for the invalid curve color of the invalid curve so i'm going to put some green similarly i'm going to change the line thickness for the tangent as well as the normal clarify i'm going to change the color put it in the red selecting these two and then uh, going to give some pink okay. so now we have drawn the involute curve with tangent and normal for a regular hexagon of side 20 mm okay thank you